it's not meat knowing just how to cut it why not learn also how to take it from cutting to the finishing you're seeing on your screen right now by enrolling for the advanced class where every bit of it are discussed in details to register please check for link in the description below welcome to Nidu mister i am olabanjo isaiah kindly note that this video you are about to watch is an extract from our full advanced class lecture thank you very much hi guys in our discussion for today we'll be discussing how to cut a smart pants i believe so much in copy and paste believe me that's the best way you learn i would like you to have beside your cutting materials as you watch this video that you may cut along believe me in this video it has already been outlined the part you have to measure length this is the measurement you take from the waist to the ankle in this video we have it to be 38.5 half length this is the measurement you take from the waist to the knee we have it 23 crouch there you have your flap hip just as it sounds the circumference of your hip also the knee ankle waist and thigh you need a chalk with sharp edge for precision that is you may be precise at your markings first we are going to put a straight line here we're gonna serve as starting point for other measurements okay so the next thing we are going to do is to measure the full length which we said to be 38.5 we are going to add two inch to this for the hem that is in fold at the lower part of our pant around the ankle the half length which we said to be 23 we are going to mark that too then the crouch which we said to be 8.75 inch we are going to repeat this at another point on the same line again the full length 38.5 inch plus 2 inch for the hem fold that is the hem the half length 23 inch then the crotch 8.75 inch so we are going to connect the points with our meter rule Now we have the lines that are going to do the magic of a perfect pant. I think there is need for me to inform you of these two beautiful tools for cutting a perfect pant. The leg curve. And the hip curve. Believe me, these are essential materials for making a perfect pant. You want to make a nice pant? You know those materials here is another tool the french curve this we are going to use to cut the curve for the crouch now with the hip curve i'm going to make a nice curve for the side of my hip remember we are humans we don't have parts that is as straight as plank they are fleshy they have curves that's why this tool has been designed Now I'm going to measure the size of my tile, which is 
which have is equal to 12.25 let's mark the midpoint of the size we have here which is 6.125 inch that is the half of 12.25 right we need also the midpoint for the nail line and the hankle line how are we going to get this let's measure the distance between the midpoint of the tie and the edge of our fabric that is we are using the edge of the fabric now as starting point so here we have seven so still using the edge of the fabric as a starting point we are going to measure seven on the knee line and the ankle line believe me yours may be greater than seven or less than seven believe me you are still on the right path as long as you are following this procedure now midpoints have been marked on other lines the knee was set to be 16 inch which half is equal to 8 inch right now with center 4 inch we are going to mark 8 on the knee line remember the half of 8 is 4 also the ankle we set to be 12.5 inch which half is equal to 6.25 now with center 3.125 inch we are going to mark 6.25 inch now with the leg curve I'm going to connect points see how effortlessly beautiful this is guys please you need that tools the french curve the hip curve and the leg curve on the hemline add 0.25 inch to the value of the ankle that is you are marking 6.5 inch on the hemline with center 3.25 inch you are free to ask questions about this why is it like that why are we adding 0.25 inch please Ask me in the group. Now we are done with the leg part. The next we are going to deal with now is the hip side. And here I want you to pay a closer attention. For this requires a bit serious calculation. The first thing we are going to do is to bring our crotch down by one inch or let me use the word borrow for we are going to return this one we are taking away from the crowd
the hip size is 38 inch this we are going to add 4 inch to for a seam of the four sides that are the right side the left side the crouch seam and the center of the hip at the back seam okay so we have 42 divide 42 by 2 we have 21 inch this 21 we are going to share between the front piece and the back piece i love dividing it in such a way that the back piece will be at least 1.25 or 1.5 inch bigger than the front piece now i just mark at point 9.75 inch if we should minus this value from 21 inch you will see that we still have 11.25 inch which is 1.5 inch larger than the front piece so for the waist we have that 1.5 inch we are going to add 6 inch this is equal to 37.5 divided by 2 we have 18.75 inch which can be round up to 19 inch i know you want to ask why are we adding six in the case of waist why four in the case of hip the answer is very simple because at the waist we are going to have that what is the essence of that why can't we just have a straight pant without that we can't have a pant without that because of the big difference between the size of the waist and that of the hip this difference have to be justified so that is why that it's been introduced so now I just marked at 9 inch so we are going to connect these two lines to the crotch line and with the hip curve we are going to give curve to the waistline With our French curve, we are going to curve the crouch. So let's cut this. Please feel free to ask me question about any part of this pant that is not clear to you i'm ready to give you the explanation over again and about the hip and the waist if the explanation is not clear to you still please feel free to ask me remember you paid for this service so you have full right to full knowledge of this tutorial so do not be quiet about anything that is not clear to you in this tutorial please thank you very much Now we are done with the front part. Believe me, the back part of your pant is as easy as eating. First thing we are going to do is to reproduce the lines on the front piece with our metal rule.
on the M line, the ankle, and the knee line. We are going to be marking at two inch away from the front piece, which automatically going to serve as seam allowance. But on the crotch line, where we have also the width of the tie, it's going to be three inch, not two. Why it is like this? Believe me, the day I tried to find out, I regretted it. For I marked two inch also at that point, and it happens that I lost that pant, for it was too tight for me. Now we are going to use the leg French curve to connect these points. Now back to the waist. Remember on the front piece, we borrowed one inch at the crotch. That is, we bring the crotch one inch down. Now it's time we are going to return it. The initial height of the crotch was 8.75 inch, right? Now we are going to be marking the crotch for the back piece at 9.75 inch. In other words, the back piece crotch is now two inch higher than that of the front. These techniques gonna help you have a waist that properly fits you. Now a new line has been produced for the crotch. Remember we calculated 18.75 inch for the size of the waist which I said can be rounded up to 19 and I measured 9 inch for the waist at the front piece. Now for the back I will mark it at 10 plus ease allowance, I'll be marking it at 10.5 inch. Also for the hip, remember 9.75 inch was used from our total calculated value which is 21. So we are left with 11.25 inch. Now we are going to be marking 11.25 inch plus ease allowance of, um, let's just add 0 0.25 inch. So I just marked now at 11.5 inch. Now with our meter rule, we draw a straight line for the waist and with our French curve, we connect the lines to the crotch line. Let's cut this please. So in our next discussion in this class, we are going to be discussing how to make the side pocket and lace it with a fine lining. Remember I said, if there be any part of this tutorial that you don't understand, do not hesitate to let me know. Please tell me in the comment section. I love reading your comments and believe me, I'm always ready to reply you with a very sweet answer. Thank you very much for being part of this class. See you again in the next class.